In our program, we pride ourselves in providing excellent, compassionate patient care and an exceptional residency program. It has all the ingredients of a university-affiliated department, but it has the additional benefits of being a community center hospital. Our goal is to turn out outstanding clinical physicians. One of the things that I love about our program is that the day that you graduate from our residency, you are equipped to do anything that you want to within our fields. We accomplish this through exposure to a large volume, clinically diverse patient population in multiple clinical settings. Our residents are exposed to a very high volume of clinically complex cases. They have a lot of autonomy because they will see these patients on their own and develop plans and then around with a attending physician. So I think one of the things that drew me to this program is the amount of independence that you get and that you really get a chance to build your confidence as a provider and a decision maker when you're caring for patients. We get the benefit of working in their office where they have their own patients that they take care of, where we can learn from them. And then also, they help us take care of the patient population in the hospital. Our residents round clinically with our program director and the chief of our department. So Dr. Taylor will round with residents on a daily basis on the rehab unit. During the residency itself, I work with every resident. In the first year, they spend at least six to nine months one-on-one -on -one, uh, with me on the inpatient rehabilitation unit. So I get to know all the residents uh, very well. It's a really rewarding experience, and you see something different than you see from other programs where I hear there's a lot of different clinics that I feel that you don't get to see in other programs. So we have such a high volume here at Beaumont Royal Oak that many different types of pathology that many other residents might only read about. Our residents are typically seeing patients several times during their residency with some of these unique and obscure diagnoses. We have a huge pool of attendings that we get to work with, so that's really great for seeing how different people approach scenarios in different ways. So you get to sort of form your own perspective and approach on things. They get to learn from these cases on a daily basis, which is a great learning environment. And for the resident, they get to see a private practice in action. We also have an outstanding electromyographic program run by uh, Dr. Vic Narula. I work with the residents in teaching them electromyography. That's a test that where we do nerve conductions and needle examination to look for muscle and nerve disorders. In terms of electromyography, not only do we do the actual teaching on the EMG machine, but we also have case studies and I'll go over a whole didactic series in terms of how to set things up and the little intricacies of electromyography. Our residency in physical medicine and rehabilitation is so focused on anatomy, we kind of get to reapproach that. And our program is unique because we are lucky enough to have a cadaver that we get every year. So our anatomy lab involves a cadaver which the residents dissect, looking both at the muscles, nerves, and tendons. And in this lab, I also come down and we go over different clinical scenarios. Because it is a teaching hospital, our residents get first dibs on everything. Equally important is the fact that uh, we understand that our residents devoted four years of their lives to our program. And so not only are we committed to providing excellent residency education, but we want to ensure that they enjoy the journey along the way. This is a faculty that works very hard to earn its living in private practice. It teaches not because it's paid to teach, but it teaches because it wants to teach. It's inspiring. We have the grandfathers of rehab, and it's exciting to know that we are trained by the same people that trained them or trained under them. The attendings, as much as we're learners and they're teachers, I think we're always treated with respect and they see us as their colleagues in the future. The thing that separates our program is the culture. Our residents truly enjoy being around each other. The faculty truly enjoy being around the residents. This program is a very collaborative program. We love working with our residents and really involve them from day one. From the moment they really step on campus, they're part of our family. Coming to work every day is fun, and working with my colleagues, they're my friends, and even my attendings. I count them as friends, so it's good to work with people you know that you enjoy working with. It is exciting to come to work every day. These people are my friends, and when I come into work, I feel like I'm hanging out with my friends when I'm in the resident room. That's who they choose to be residents here, are people that work well in teams. I know they do hang out quite a bit outside of the walls of the hospital, and you can see that camaraderie coming through when they're back at work. You know, they really will look out for each other. And we want to do what's best for the patient. Obviously, we want to train our residents, but really, we want to give amazing treatment to our patients. 
it's great when you get to see patients down in the gym working with therapy. You can really see them in action and see how they're improving over time. Many of our patients have chronic diseases, chronic illnesses, and they need somebody that can talk to them and explain things to them. And that personality and that caring, caring about patients, caring about their, their lives and how we can benefit them, that's the person we're looking for. I came back to this program because I think it was the best program there is. I can see why majority of the residents that have left this program decided to come back and actually work for this program. And our residents consistently for the last several years, as far as I know, they match the programs that they want to go and the specialties that they want to go into. If you want to go out and practice medicine, if you want to teach, you're not going to find a better program to train at.